airport day three in the Grand Turks. And I'm going to hit the beach real quick. Even though it's not that hot, but it's hot. It's like, as I said, the, the Caribbean weather must be different. I don't know, but it said it was like 77 degrees today and it's already feeling hot. The sun's beaming down. But uh, we're going to hit up the beach and we'll pick, get my sand for my sand collection. And uh, we also did a, a last minute excursion, we did a tour. $35 a person, so sometimes those last minute ones work out. But we're gonna hit up and see what we get into and take y'all along the way. Let's go. All right, yeah, hot walking the pier. Get y'all some water, some lemon water, some orange water, some fresh water. <laughs> Grandma, how have you enjoyed the vacation so I, far? I have been loving every bit of it. You're loving Woo! every bit of it? Look, it's kept us stuck, but not really. here in the Grand Turks and once again we're at a rocky beach so Princess Keys I don't know which one's worse Princess Keys is probably worse but Grand Turks is bad too uh, but the water's clear so you can see them at least you can't see them in Princess Keys oh, yeah. so that was the problem water shoes are a mess uh, and then yes look Alright y'all, so we are at Margaritaville, or we're not at Margaritaville, but we're behind Margaritaville, nice pool area, they have a, uh, they have a, a wave, they have a wave surfer as well, so if you want to just chill, this is a good spot to just chill, so uh, enjoy yourself, relax, and let's see, uh, let's see how this goes.
I want to try to do it. Yeah, Grand Talk. Every time it's something like that. Depend heavily on the ship. Sometimes you have like I don't know why it's still there, but these buildings were destroyed in 2008 by a Category Five hurricane by the name of Ike. I came at the late hours of the night with winds up to 120 miles per hour. Tornadoes and everything was said to be in this hurricane. When we woke up the next morning, we find 85 to 95 percent of the infrastructure on the seven, eight mile island damaged. All electrical poles were down, and some parts of the island was out or out of power for eight to six months. Luckily for us, on that day, when we woke up, there was no loss of life. But we we experienced some extensive damage to the infrastructure here on this island. And of course, since then, we are a resilient set of people to be built more resilient with regards to proper concrete construction and the likes. The noise that you're hearing from your right hand side will house our power station. When I turn the corner, there is on my left hand side, but now they're on my right hand side. So please wave at them as we pass you this residential area by the name of Park. Now it's a trick with holding the horses. If I was to catch someone horse and they see me with it and I'm enjoying it, just riding for fun, chances are they'll come stop me and say that, hey sir, you need to get off my horse. Right to so I would have to once they claim the horse. But if I, if I decide to take a Sunday ride, cruising, and a horse run across the road and mash up my car, then automatically the owner disappears. Nobody want to own a car, or own a horse that damage your car. But they only want to own the horse when you're riding it. So you will find yourself cruising and a horse damage your car. And hopefully if you have some insurance, which you should have, you'll have to end up paying for your vehicle yourself. Because the owner automatically disappears when the horse hits your car. That white house still, when you go up that road, there's a beach still by the name of Pool Rock. Pool Rock at its name because it's a big rock that separates the waves. So when the sea is rough or the wind, the swells are kind of high. It helps with broken the roads, the swells down. This is a small hotel here on our right hand side. And the water today is kind of choppy. Normally it's calm, but it's kind of choppy today. So you have the opportunity to feed the fish and enjoy the lights and see as far as you can see that it's 7,000 feet drop. Here on the island, we have one financial institution, which is one on our right hand side, West Caribbean. All these buildings that are coming up. Alright y'all, so I don't know how far we're in the tour, maybe 20, 20 minutes into the tour. And hey, look at that right there. Huh? Well watching. Whoa. Whoa. Alright, so tour, I like the tour. The tour is cool. Just make sure like you're moving fast when you first start if you want to sit next to people. So you can get a seat next to your family or friends because it'll get wild and then you'll get separated. So right now I'm separated from my family. But the tour is cool. Especially if you're sitting in the middle because then it's hard to take pictures and videos. Um, but it's been cool, especially like being in here.
one thing as a reminder, I forgot to bring cash. I should have brought the cash off the ship. Um, just in case you want to stop by them, like in the middle of the tours and everything, like depending on what y'all want to do. Got the, but uh, always, you know, always bring cash with you somewhere stashed on you. Um, but enjoying, enjoying the, uh, I need to get something to eat. I need to get some type of authentic food. Let's let's see what let's see what I can get to eat. Check it out. All right. Try to get it to promo. So we face a kind of illegal crisis with the Haitian community coming from Haiti legally on boats. Get my land for them, trying to disappear in the community. The battle is ongoing as we know that there's crisis going on in Haiti as we speak. But nonetheless, we are thankful for the for the ones who are here the right way, and we walk along with them, and they walk along with us. But we have different other nationalities here in the Toxic Higgins Islands. Our population, our indigenous and population, are very small. So we do depend on a lot of workforce from other parts of the Caribbean right. islands, such were. as Haiti. We have a large public. So we are on continuing our journey on to the lighthouse. Remember, there's an option where at the lighthouse, there will be the same wild donkeys that you're looking on your right hand side. There will be an option for you to feed them at your own risk. Remember, these donkeys are wild, so you don't have to feed them. It's always good to experience other people's culture. Then you'll be able to come back to your island and appreciate it more. After you have experienced what all those cities and islands go through. So this island is very small. And I know just about every face. So it's easy for me to pinpoint somebody and just say, hey, what's up? This is a gas station that we're passing on our right hand side. How much is the gallon gas? of a gas, the gallon of gas on the island is seven dollars and forty-five cents, and the minimum wage on the island is eight dollars and twenty-five cents. Oh, oh so well, we're climbing, we're climbing. I let you know when it's safe. I let you know when it's safe. What do you want? What do you want? What do you want? Now it's safe to say that we made it. Thank you guys, I really appreciate it. Again, that no one had to walk. Yep. The road and they don't really kill. And we meet them here, so we have to treat them. This is they this is their island. They're just passing through. Got nothing to give him. And I ain't trying to mess with it and not give it out. I, I would, but there was plenty of warnings to be careful. So I ain't trying to feed him right now, even though he looks sad. Yeah, I ain't got no food for you though. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I ain't got no food for you. <laughs> Nothing. No, I would want to go up to the top anyway. She fed him. Then he kind of bumped him. Look at that. Oh, 
water too. Oh, she's standing behind the dolphin. She's standing behind the dolphin. side of the island Covering in order to get back. Covering the, the we want to take this time again to thank you for choosing us. We know you had all the options and we hope that you're enjoying the tour thus far. Someone told me when I made a stop that they tired of me talking so I'll take a break until we reach the statue again and then we'll get back into playing my voice again. So in the meantime, you guys can sit back, relax, enjoy the cool breeze and everything else. We have some internet on board if you want to catch a quick update of what's going on in America. If there's the, the pass, the username and password is somewhere on the top part of it. So feel free to log in, check up with your family, check up to see what's going on with politics if Trump is going to get empowered for that good stuff. I'm on vacation. I don't even know <laughs> Alright, but we'll be signing out for a brief moment and we'll sign back in once you reach close to the statue. So you guys can sit back, relax, enjoy the view, enjoy the breeze. And if you look ahead, you can see a cruise ship so you know that you're still safe. So I'll sign out for a brief moment and we'll sign back in once we get close to the statue. Thank you so much, you guys. Have a good one. Yeah, 
So this is our office complex here, Crown Lane Unit Surveying Department and Dental Likes. We're going to be taking a brief left and heading on the east side of the island. We will have the opportunity to see the St. Thomas Church, the secondary school activities and many more. Hello, hello. The high school are still open, so we are seeing some kids walking over from school in the hot sun. I did my time of that. The sun could be pretty hot. This is the biggest church here on the island, Baptist church here on our right hand side. These buildings that we are coming up are the Ministry of Border Control with regards to immigration, labor force. Here in the Taxi Kings Islands, if you want to walk here, you first would have to apply for a walk permit. Either a business or a person can apply for you. And it said that the road thing is in Washington, D.C. So as you can see, guys, we are shortly, we are a few minutes away arriving back at the port. I'd like to take this opportunity again to thank you guys for choosing us. And hope that you enjoyed it all. We, we, do, we do eat cows on the island, so we kill them and eat them. So we had plenty, but this, this is what is left. So one of our nice local dish are... Uh, Homemade cows. What'd you get? He got, he, he got short at first, but he didn't want to spend all the money he said, so. Little, little doggy. Like, let's go. Go, 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 go